X-Men 2, Moon Review. After a failed attack by a mutant on the American president, the law enforcement declares them more of an enemy and go for more direct attacks on them. Meanwhile, the X-Men try to discover the truth behind the attack on the president, and the Brotherhood of Mutants are completely defeated. This one ups the ante a bit, and since we've already got a lot of characters established, they have some fun with them. They have some romances, among other things. Unfortunately, a few new characters are also added to the mix, so we again have too many characters, and most of them really don't see that much development. They're somewhat established, and some of them do stand out, but on the whole, it could have done a better job of juggling them, and it probably would have if there weren't so many. The new characters are good additions, though, including Nightcrawler, who's done quite well. We again have very solid treatment of the superpowers with good uses of them, some creative uses of them also, and you can really tell why they chose these mutants. They really went out of their way to give them all something really cool and memorable to do. The writing is really good, with again great dialogue, especially between the two Shakespearean actors who play, you know, the leaders of the two factions of mutants. And the delivery on the dialogue is also great. The acting is quite good for pretty much everyone, including some that you might not expect it from. Barry does better, mostly because she drops the African accent. That was kind of throwing her off her game, I'd say. The effects are, again, quite good. The action is handled slightly better. It's slightly bigger and more exciting, and it feels less awkward. You can tell that singers learned a few things from doing the first movie. The pacing is quite good. The film is just about two hours long, and it's never really boring. It sets things up well, and the themes are treated quite well. Again, we again have this collision between the idealist who wants us all to live peacefully alongside each other and the pragmatist, if that's a word, who insists that someone will be in charge of the others. The two-disc DVD of the film comes with a full-length video diary. It's reasonable, it's just not quite as good as the first one. It's also less of a diary, more of a just full-length behind-the-scenes feature. There are also a number of shorter featurettes, and they're quite good, very informative. There are also two full-length audio commentaries, which are quite interesting, and you hear from several of the people that you really want to hear from. I've reviewed other parts of this series, the links are in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.